All right, Shalom. All praises, honor, glory goes to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakak Wadash. Double honors to uh, my apostles and elders, the Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to you uh, brothers out there that are, that are pushing this word also. Okay, I'm in transit. Start off with uh, Hebrews 12 and 16. This is Hebrews 12 and 16. Least there be any any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. Okay, uh, this is the type of man that we're dealing with. We're dealing with a with a profane, vile, okay, um, fornicator, Esau, Esau. Um, is a father of the Edomites, okay? And we've been telling you uh, from our apostles on down that the Lord, he revealed who Esau was. And um, without a shadow of a doubt, we know Esau to be a uh, so-called white man, or what you would know as Caucasian today. And also the Lord let us know who the real Israelites are, okay? Uh, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans from Central, South, and uh, uh, North, Central, and South America, okay, of a uh, Negro and Indian, in Indian descent. Now Esau, he's he's uh, he's a fornicator, okay. He's he's a uh, he's a breaker of the law, okay. He he's profane. He's outside of the temple, okay. And you gotta know you gotta know the story of Esau. You gotta know the story of Esau and what was his beginnings. And, and why is he in such of a, a, a confused state now? Why is he so wicked? Well, first of all, the Most High, he created Esau to be wicked, okay? He created uh, Esau to be the opposition to, uh, against Jacob. It says, uh, verse 17, For ye know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. So when you go into the story of Jacob and Esau, Esau was supposed to received the blessing and the birthright but he sold the blessing and the birthright for uh for a raw piece of meat okay because he didn't he didn't uh when he looked at the blessings and the birthright he didn't look at it he didn't look at it uh uh because these promises these promises were far off so to speak he didn't have faith he couldn't wait all right so that's the spirit of esau he doesn't want to wait he doesn't want to wait on the lord Okay, it's literally impossible for Esau to, to wait on the Lord. He's he's not accepted by him, but he's rejected. Okay, and this is the type of man that we're dealing with. We're dealing with a, a fornicator. We're dealing with a vile person. We're dealing with a person that that has no equity, that has no integrity. Okay, that's totally um totally contrary to the scriptures. So if the scriptures say one thing, he does the exact opposite. Okay. So it says, uh, for he was rejected. Though he saw sought it carefully with tears, yeah, he saw he'll cry. He'll he'll, he'll cry. He'll make you uh, he'll play on your uh, on your heartstrings, so to speak. He'll play on your emotions. Okay, he's a very good actor. All right, why do you think he controls Hollywood? Okay, Hollywood. Does he not control the media? All right, this is part of that's part of his uh, this is part of his uh, blessing, man. Was a deception. So just as an actor or actress. Which that means a, a a hypocrite. That's the uh that's the spirit of Esau to be a hypocrite, to say one thing, but mean and do the total opposite of that. Or right? he says that he, he I love you, or I want to come bring peace to your to your nation, okay? But then he'll bomb you, and then and then he'll try to cover it up, or then he'll just say, look, hey, just get over with, get over it, okay? So we we gotta know our enemy. We gotta know wh who we're up against, okay? Let me bring out another scripture because that scripture you know that scripture just um this morning i was going to do the video the scripture just popped in my head you know and i was like man this this, this dude's a damn devil all right every just looking at just looking at this devil man just i had to turn the tv off yesterday man i just can't i can't i, I don't like looking at this devil all right because he he uh he's wickedness per personified okay he is what wickedness is he, the most High created esau to show the world to show the Israelites what wickedness was, okay? And the portion will be the reward for the wicked because there is a, re a reward for the wicked just as there is a reward for the righteous. The reward for the righteous is salvation and the 
reward for the wicked is utter destruction. Okay, let me uh, bring out this scripture. This is um, Isaiah 26 and 10. Let favor be shown shewed to the wicked. So uh, favor was shown unto the, uh, the wicked Esau. Okay. Yet will he not learn righteousness. The Lord, he allowed him to take the Bible. He allowed him to read the Bible, break the Bible down. A sin is archaeologists, okay, out there and historians out there to, to see if the Bible was real. Okay, he has all the records. Okay. So he, 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 he was capable of, well, the illusion of the capability of to understand the Bible and implement the Bible. He said, look, I, I, I founded this country on... Um, uh, on Christian Christ, uh, Christian um, Christian morals, okay. So we are we are a, a God fearing country. But well, he doesn't he doesn't use the Bible, okay, as law. He uses his wicked penal code, okay. Uh, it says, "Let favor be shown unto the wicked." Yet will he not learn righteousness? So no matter what you do, no matter how many Bibles you put in Esau's hand, no matter how many times you give him the proper and correct breakdown. He can't, he can't learn righteousness, okay? He wasn't set up to be able to un understand these words, okay? In the land of uprightness will he deal unjustly, and that's what you're seeing today right now, over there in the land of Israel. Like, uh, I think yesterday or was today, they officially declared uh, um, uh, 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 the, the state of Israel, Hebrew, the, 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 the Hebrew, the national language, okay, or the primary language, of Israel, the, the state of Israel, okay, and pretty much disregarded the Palestinians, which that, that's not their land. The so-called white man he took that land, and he said that he's he's an Israelite, he's the people of God. When that's not even his his land, so he's dealing un, uh, um he's dealing unjustly in that land. Okay, he has uh he has kosher pig, he has gay parades, or right, he has he has women guiding abroad. He has, there's adultery. All right, there's no law against adultery. You don't get put to death. So the Bible is not uh, the Bible or the Torah, okay? Because they go uh, so-called the Torah are the first five books of Moses, the prophets, okay? They they're not uh they're not uh those laws are not upright. Those those laws are not held uh, as the law of the land, okay? Just as over here in, ba in in Babylon, America, the Bible is not held as the uh the law of the land. But on the contrary, all right, the law of the land is what whatever Esau he concocts in his wicked ass mind. Okay, let me read this again. It says, "Let favor be shewed to the wicked; yet will he not learn righteousness. In the land of uprightness will he deal unjustly. So he's dealing unjustly in that land of Israel. Okay, and will not behold the majesty of the Lord. So at any given, at no point in time is he ever going to acknowledge the heavenly Father. Okay." nor his son, nor his people, okay? Because Esau was rejected, and this is all the story that the Lord, he's playing out. Okay, Esau, you have been rejected, and you can't get that birthright. You sold the birthright, okay, which the birthright was already set up for Jacob to inherit. All right, it was never, it was never set up for you Edomites to get, and that's why you're upset. That's why you're mad. You're trying to, you're, you're, you're mad. You want to kill the Israelites. You want to do away with us. All right, you trump charges on us. That's why, that's the reason why we're in this current situation as we are now. It's because you, uh, you, you plotted against us to destroy, destroy us as a nation, but you did not consider the prophecies because you're not a spiritual man. You're a carnal man. So the, the, the plan that you concocted in your, in your mind, okay, with your wicked elite, okay, with Satan, oh, this is what you're going to do. You're going to destroy the Israelites. And it started working for a moment. For a small moment, you had us in derision. But now you didn't consider the same book that you took and you try to use against us because that was the only way that was the only way that you can uh, conquer us is that you had to use our book against us okay you didn't consider that there was prophecies in that book for us to wake up you thought your plan was uh, A1 you thought your plan had no uh, loopholes okay well there's always a breakdown in defenses okay there's always a, a back door somewhere and, 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 and those were the prophecies alright uh, let me bring out another scripture This is 
uh, Ecclesiastes 7 and 13. Consider the work of the Most High. For who can make the who can make that straight which he has made crooked? All right. And who who is that uh, who is that crooked? That crooked man? It's talking about the Edomites. So the Lord he actually created the Edomites to be crooked. He created he created the Edom, Edomites to be perverse. All right. To be uh, perverse and crooked, which goes into the same word, meaning they are um, they are crooked from uh, the ways of righteousness. They can't they can't do righteousness. All right, the, the so-called white man he can't he can't do good. All right. Uh, let me um, I want to bring out another scripture real quick. About Esau. About Esau being that crooked. All right, the so-called white man, and no, uh, at no point in time can he do. It says, "Yet will he not learn righteousness." So now he he took the he took the he took the Bible, he took every he took everything, he took the riches of the world, the understanding. All right, and 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 now, <clears throat> and now when he when it's time to do good, he can't do good. This is uh, Isaiah 27 and 1. In that day, uh, the Lord with his sword and great and strong sword shall punish Leviathan, that piercing serpent, even Leviathan, that crooked serpent. And he shall slay the dragon that is in the sea. And that's not talking about the Leviathan, the actual serpent. It's talking about the so-called white man. All right. Because a serpent, a serpent is also uh, symbolizes somebody that's very subtle. All right. Uh, it's very... Um, Deceiving and he and they use begot they use they use guile and they can beguile you and, and trickery and that's how Esau uh, has deceived the nations he he deceived everybody he he made everybody believe that he's he's a child of God <laughs> did his and he made everybody believe that his pasty red ass okay is the image of beauty and that he was everybody in the um he was he's he's every uh, great great uh person in history all right he he was in every civilization <laughs> this dude's the damn devil the whole time he was up in the caves man he that, that and that's one knowledge that he doesn't want to bring out or if he does bring it out he says that we were all in the caves all right, this whole evolutionary theory is totally flawed but that that goes to show you how low level you nations were okay and the most high he had to raise you nations he he, he has to raise you nations up just so you can destroy, you can help facilitate the destruction of America. All right, the most size the one that said, wake up the mighty men. Uh, let all the men of war uh, draw near. All right, because the, the, the so-called white man, his, his advanced technology and weaponry, all right, he was able to subdue, sub, subdue all the nations because he didn't play fair. All right, there was a certain code of ethic even on the battlefield. But he saw he went totally... He he he's like forget about that. I, I gotta get I gotta get into power. He used biological warfare, chemical warfare. All right, he'll kill your children. He'll take he'll he'll take your, your family ransom. All right. He'll he'll just he'll drop bombs on you. All right. He'll he'll uh another thing that he'll do he'll make a a, a peace treaty with you, and then he'll and then he'll break the peace treaty. Okay. Like nothing happened. You know, like somebody that owe you money, they might owe you a thousand dollars one of your boys and every time y'all get together or come around you and some other friends the money never gets brought up nope he, he doesn't even act like it like uh he doesn't even act like he owes you okay that's the, that's the so-called white man he, he, he'll act like he just didn't drop a bomb with him or he just act like he didn't he didn't do something wicked okay this is uh let me get another scripture so the most high he created let me let me go back to Ecclesiastes real quick and read that again. It says, "Consider the work of the Most High, for who can make that straight which He has made crooked?" So the Most High is that that work that workman. He is the uh, the, the person that made one vessel unto honor, another vessel unto dishonor. Just as uh, Romans the ninth chapter uh, goes through, it explains that He created Esau. You know what? Let me let me actually get that. All right. This is Romans 9. I'm going to start at 13. 
all right it says romans 9 and 13 as it is written jacob have i loved but esau have i hated and you you gotta you gotta know that who's jacob and who's esau all right because you open up these scriptures but you gotta understand what you're reading in these scriptures okay the scriptures talk about how with all that getting get understanding and how do you get understanding well a man has to teach you that's how the most high set it up just as you wouldn't know your abcs you wouldn't know language you wouldn't know mathematics unless somebody taught you and then you get on a level once you start understanding but you have to get the basic understanding and that's the spirit working with you uh, uh via a, a, a man of the most high teaching you all right to edify edifying you which is what Bu building you up that's what the, the word uh to edify means okay it means to build so the Lord, the Lord has to build, has to build upon you, or, or via your mind to understand these things. And one thing He has to open up your mind to know is that Esau is the devil, and this is not like some type of mysterious creature under the under the earth, okay, uh, with a pitchfork, uh, dancing, poking people in the ass. No, nah, no. This is a man on the planet Earth, all right, a, a man of no pigment. Okay, a man that his his blood shows forth through his skin. All right, he he can be pop, he can uh he can be hairy. All right, sometimes he can have red hair, but really it goes it goes into it goes into the spirit of the man. Cause the spirit of a man is going to show you uh what type of man he is, is by his actions. And we we see without a doubt that the so-called white man's actions are wicked. Okay, he goes against the Bible. And that's why the scriptures say, um, Romans 9 and 13, again, it says, as it is written. And what does that mean? As it is written means that it was, it's in the Old Testament. All right, so all these scriptures in the New Testament were just re referring to the Old Testament. Once, you, If you read the, the Old Testament, you're well versed in the scriptures of understanding. You would pretty much say that the, the Old Testament is the New Testament. Because all, all the, the, old, the old New Testament was doing, it was... Um, Confirming the things in the Old Testament, certain prophecies needed to come to pass. Conf uh, 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 exhorting, exhorting brothers that these prophecies were steady going to come to pass. Talked about the Messiah. Okay, in the Old Testament, it talks about the Messiah. All right, and he came, and then and then you hear about him in the New Testament. All right, and and all the prophecies are not, all the prophecies in the Bible are not uh, uh, fulfilled yet. So that's why with the scriptures say, Yahweh Shai said, I am not come to destroy, but, fulfill, but to fulfill. Okay. Uh, it says, verse 14, what shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with the Most High? The Most High forbid. Okay. The reason why is because you'll get emotional. You'll get emotional because you've been taught, oh, you uh, you can't hate anybody or hate is, is a bad is a bad um, emotion. Okay. Well, how, how did how did how how was America founded? It was founded off of hatred. Are there's hatred all around, uh, uh, all around the world? Okay. There's people dying right now of hatred. If there if there was no hatred, why can none of these nations come together? All right. Under under the banner of war peace, war uh, world peace. Why is there no uh, nuclear disarmament? It's because that spirit of hate has always been out there, all right? That's that's an actual spirit. And the most high he created a substance to hate it. Alright? And that and that substance or that that person was uh was Esau. Okay. That vessel. The son the is called he calls him the son of perdition. Alright? And when you go into that word perdition, one of the definitions there. All right, a perdition is the vessel of utter destruction. All right, so he he is a vessel of utter destruction, and that's why the Most High created him. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with the Most High? God forbid. Like no, there is no unrighteousness because your your peasley uh, mind cannot under, cannot get on the level of the Heavenly Father. For he said unto Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. And I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So if you have uh, two dogs and you love one and you and you hate the other, is are you wrong? 
Can somebody come up against you and say, no, you're wrong? Or if you created, if you created two vessels, or it, it goes into it, if you created two vessels, say you you paid, you uh, created a, a, some pottery, or even a, a picture, you're an artist and you created a picture, or even a song, and you created one song and you love that song, you cherish that song, okay? And then you create another song that you hate, all right? You hate this song or or this painting and you and you wanted to throw it away. And somebody said, no, you can't do that. You can't throw that away. Why? It's mine. I'm the one who created it. It was my, it was, uh, it was created from my, um, my imagination and my, uh, my, uh, my brush strokes. All right. I created it so I can destroy it. So that's basically the most high. He is, he's in that, he has that power to create and to destroy. All right. And you can't, as a man, you can't say, oh no, you're wrong. Well, look at the so-called white man. What is he doing on the planet Earth? He's doing everything it will take for it, for him to be destroyed. Our God, he gave him a uh, God. Or I, when I say God, the Most High, he gave um, he gave the Israelites all right a way of life. And then Esau, he came, put us in slavery, and then took our Bible. Say, no, I'm the Israelites now. So do you, and then and then he did that, and the, and the Lord said that he that is goddamn devil, man, the damn devil piece of shit um it's lucky it's like i mean i'm in the wicked san francisco there's bug outs everywhere he took the bible said look i'm i i'm the children of god okay and then at that then at the same time all right he knows what type of manner of man the heavenly father is he read the scriptures right he read the scriptures and uh the scriptures the scriptures say that the heavenly father he hates wickedness man all right so he so he didn't take that into consideration he, he don't give a goddamn all right so this is uh where am i uh verse 16 it says so then it is not of him that willeth nor him that runneth but of the most high that show of mercy and we uh we understand that even within uh israel there's israel the most high and that's the um, that's the, uh, the the Israel the Most High is the ones that the Lord he he has created Israelites and he had mercy on them he woke them up to this truth so being able to understand this truth th that's ultimate mercy man or because the Lord he could have created you to be destroyed just as he created our people to be he created two thirds of our people to be destroyed the only thing about that is is that they're gonna come back righteous in the kingdom all right so the Lord actually had ultimate ultimate mercy on them okay but as far as the edomites that profane and uh and vain person esau okay who served, served uh, uh sold his birthright for a morsel of meat a raw meat he, he's not gonna have any mercy okay let me uh bring out another scripture on that uh james 2 and 13 for he shall have judgment without mercy that has showed no mercy and mercy rejoices against judgment so esau he's not going to have any mercy okay because he didn't show mercy all right and, and the scriptures tell you that how he didn't show any he didn't show any mercy this is uh this is isaiah 47 and 6 i was wroth with my people i polluted my inheritance i have given them into thy hands so the most high is the one who gave us up into your hand and it says thou didst show them no mercy Okay, so you you didn't show you didn't show your slaves no mercy, all right? Because even in the scriptures, there's a certain way that you have to um, treat your slaves right. Okay, and you 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 said forget that I'm gonna do whatever the hell I want to do. Okay, Jim Crow, all right? You 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 uh cre you created you created these different uh, regulations and different ways to treat your slaves. That you could you you study Jake. That's all you do. You study Jake. You study how to see how the mind works. All your uh, your your scientists, all right, down in the field of um, cognitive reasoning and all that brain science, that bullshit that you try to go into and study the mind. Basically, what you're doing, you do all that to put demons on people. All right, that's the reason why you go into the mind, because you know that's where the, the that's the key is to get the mind. And now and now was your purpose of destroying Jake was to uh. To destroy Drake, Jake, and then destroy their mind. That's why Jake is into all different types of religions. They believe in different um, 
they believe in, in different ways of life are some are gun hold uh, white supremacists are some are just just entertainers no nobody comes together and believes on the same thing and because you just you destroyed their mind it says thou didst show them no mercy upon the ancient thou how thou hast thou slack it upon the ancient has thou verily very heavily laid thy yoke all right so you 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 didn't you didn't show no mercy into none to none of our people okay the ancient the, talking about the uh, the elder of our people you have they ass out in the field too you you put them to death if they wasn't doing uh what you wanted them to do if they wasn't moving to your beat okay while your ass was sit up laid back with a with your feet on the on the on the on the chair on a chair sipping on lemonade and, and, and cognac okay so do you not think that those things are going to happen to you yeah they are going to happen to you because your your uh your reign of terror okay is it's it's almost up okay you, you're about to be destroyed and you're upset that's why you're pulling guns swords on brothers all right and then it's going to come to a point to where you're going to uh you're gonna uh you're just gonna come in like a flood with all your weaponry man because he, this, this is going this this world is going to get out of hand all right among you trying to uh artificially engineer the, the the collapse of america so you can bring uh the chip in right you're gonna be you're gonna have you're gonna succeed and and um in certain parts of that well the most high he's gonna throw wrenches all up in your plan okay because at that same time he's gonna be working on the minds of these these leaders Okay, to come up against you, you're gonna be get kicked out of the, uh, the different uh, countries. Uh, you're gonna be your military is gonna get kicked out of a lot of these different countries, even the EU, like Germany. Germany wants your uh, military base out of their uh, out of their country. Okay, so the Lord he gonna be working on the minds of these leaders. He's gonna be working on the minds of these people to go to go wild. The scriptures talk about how there should be sedition among men, and then the Lord he's gonna release. Uh, uh, diseases all right because Esau he's going to do all these things but then see these things are not going to go according to his plan okay so the diseases are going to be getting released the Lord's going to raise up these animals are they going to be uh, getting displaced and then and then you're going there's going to be uh, acts of uh, natural disasters that's going to totally devastate Esau and his plans of the new world order amongst amongst uh, World War three all right, so nothing that Esau does is going to come to fruition. Nothing Esau uh, does is going to come to uh, uh, come uh, uh, be be as planned. Okay, your plan A, your plan B, C, D, E, they're all going to fail. Okay, and you're gonna you're gonna start you're gonna you're gonna run and try to hide, but there's nowhere there's no nowhere that there's nowhere you can hide, Esau. Okay, let me go back to Romans nine and finish that out. Uh, verse 17 for the scripture saith unto Pharaoh even for this same purpose have I raised thee up that I sh that I might show my power in thee and that my name might be declared throughout the earth so this is all for the glorification of the Heavenly Father in his name okay and his son okay so he's going he raised up Esau this great superpower okay he raised up America this great metropolis the richest city that's ever been the, the biggest economy that's ever been the greatest mili military power that's ever been all right the great this great wonder of all cities then he raised up the Edomites these pale faced devils weak pieces of shit all right he raised them up to be able to take us down just so he can destroy destroy you with this great destruction to the point to where he even uh he's even going to uh raise up Esau and give Esau technology to fight against him in the sky to fight against the, him and the angels so, so Esau he got he got high level technology that's why he's proud all right he got shit he got shit that uh that he ain't telling you people okay he got some shit that hits you and just melt your whole body all right he got sound weapons he can tap he can tap into your consciousness and tell you tell you shit tell you to do things 
All right, this is part of his blessing. This is part of his sword. All right, so he, with his with that pride, with that pride is going it's going to come a great destruction. Okay. This is a. Uh, yep, it says uh, verse eighteen. Therefore have, therefore has he mercy on whom he will have mercy, and whom he will he hardeneth. Okay. Thou wilt say then unto me, Why does he yet find fault? For whom, for who has resisted his will? So, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord sets you up to to go against them. That's ultimately that's that's the breakdown. Okay, the Lord he sets you up, Esau, to go against them so he can destroy you. All right, and, and there's nothing you can do. You uh you can't do good. All right, the scriptures talk about how you 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 gonna um his children shall seek to please the poor. All right, you want to please you want to please the poor because uh because now you're starting to see that you're losing power like them uh them so-called them uh them them South Africans and white South Africans which a lot of those uh South Africans those are Dutch you got a cast you got the Dutch and you got the English out there okay and they they colonize a lot of part a, a lot of uh South South uh, South Africa okay during the during the 1800s okay and and uh and now a lot of those uh a lot of those uh south africans those white people they're uh seeking asylum in russia because because they're because they're getting chased out of the land all right and the scriptures talk about how how esau he's gonna be chased out of the earth let me actually go to that and then we'll wrap it up on that <sighs> Let me just start up and we'll read down. It's a lot in here. This is Job eighteen. This is Job eighteen and um Five, yea, the light of the wicked shall be put out, and the spark of his fire shall not shine. The light shall be dark in his tabernacle, and his candle shall be put out with him. All right, it's talking about uh, you Edomites and your power. All right, this beast system is going to be totally be put, is going to be totally put out. The steps of his strength shall be straightened, and his own counsel shall cast him down. So you're gonna be uh, you're gonna be cast down by your own counsel. You're gonna say, okay, we need to do this, we need to do that, but then the plan is gonna backfire on you, okay? And that counsel, uh, basically, the Lord's gonna send you a lying spirit. You know what? Maybe our Lord's will. I want to do that video. But how the Lord, the Lord is the one who uh, uh, gives gives out counsel, okay? And ultimately, He is the last say so on counsel because He'll give you, He'll give you uh, over to a lying spirit, okay? And, th and make you think that you're doing the right thing for he for he is cast into a net by his own feet and he walketh upon a snare so this this snare that he has laid this trap that he has laid he's gonna fall into that same trap it tells you that also and um in Psalm 7 I mean it tells you that in multiple scriptures the jinn shall take him by the heel and a jinn is basically a, a trap and the robber shall prevail against him the snare is laid for him in the ground and a trap for him in the way, because Esau he's been laying traps, or uh, ever since he came into power, and every single trap that he has laid has worked. Okay, he's he's at a very high percentile of all the traps that he has created work. He trapped up, he trapped up you Israelites, or uh, he's able to steal money, he's able to steal uh, wealth, steal lands, and all these these plans that he has uh, he has concocted in his wicked, sick, demented head, they have worked. So now he's like, hey, I'm on a, I'm on a, a roll, I'm on a roll, I'm on a winning spree, okay? Can nobody stop me? Uh, that momentum, with all those things, they're gonna come, um, come, um, upon him and suddenly. Terrors shall make him afraid on every side, and shall drive him to his feet. So you're gonna, you're gonna see these Edomites start to be scared. They're gonna, they're gonna be terrified. Why are they gonna be terrified? Because the things that are gonna be coming to the planet Earth. And you're going to have blacks and Hispanics that are going to be on, on the street corner. 
you gonna see you gonna see them more. You gonna see them on the internet more. They gonna be on your news your news uh, 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 station. They gonna be everywhere, man. They gonna be everywhere telling you these things that are gonna happen. You're gonna be afraid. All right, you're gonna be having dreams of you getting destroyed. You going into slavery, okay? His strength shall be hunger bitten, and destruction shall be ready at his side. So the the, the heavenly Father is preparing blood um uh for you, okay? The scriptures say in Ezekiel, since thou hast not hated blood, okay, that the Lord he's gonna prepare that blood for you. All right. It says it shall devour the strength of his skin. Even the firstborn of death shall devour his strength. Okay. You you gonna you're gonna be totally destroyed. Okay. Yahweh Shai gonna come back, and he gonna he gonna he gonna drop them bombs on you, so to speak. Okay. His confidence shall be rooted out of his tabernacle. Yeah, your your faith and your military, your faith in America, your faith in Edomite supremacy. All right. That's gonna be rooted out. You you gonna have so much infighting between these different nations. Between between NATO, between the EU, between America and their allies, to where you you're not gonna have any more confidence. You're gonna the uh the your um the the window when you look out of the window, okay, to see the future is gonna be dim. It's gonna be it will not gonna be dim. The scriptures talk talk about when you go up that the light shall be put out. So you're 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 gonna be in total darkness. Satan's gonna flee from you. You're not gonna be able to call on these different soothsayers. These different magicians, all right. These different uh, witches and warlocks that can tell you your future, okay. The spiritual demon Satan, he ain't gonna be dealing with you no more, okay. And then when you come to the Israelites, when you get fed up and you, oh, I need an answer. When you come into the Israelites, what's gonna happen? We are gonna say that, just as uh, Samuel told Saul, you and you and your 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 uh, sons gonna die die tomorrow, okay. <laughs> so that's what's that's what's prepared. For you Edomites, man, is destruction. It says his confidence shall be rooted out of his tabernacle, and it shall bring him to the king, shall bring him to the king of terrors. Okay, and Yahweh is the king of terrors. You you like to you like to call the different Arabs or even even brothers terrorists. Well, look, man, hey, look, you're the, well, you're the real terrorist, but the Lord, He is the real terrorist. He gonna terrorize your ass. Before he before he destro destroys America, he gonna terrorize you people, man. He gonna really he gonna really put fear the fear you know the fear of God. He gonna really put the fear of God, okay, in your heart. Since you people don't have that fear now, the Lord he gonna he gonna put that that spirit of fear on you, okay. And and, and you and you gonna have no confidence in getting sa in saved, all right. It says it shall dwell in his tabernacle because it is none of his brimstone shall be scattered upon his habitation <laughs> after you get terrorized with all these things the, the most high he gonna give you that ultimate terror shot okay and that's some nuclear missiles man and brim that brimstone what 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 else could that brimstone be talking about was not sodom and gomorrah uh destroyed by brimstone and through the spirit you know brothers always say like at san francisco this this is probably sodom reincarnated okay which I, which I believe it. The whole landmass of America is Sodom. It has a spirit of Sodom. But this place, this is this place could be actual Sodom. Okay, you see nothing but trannies. Okay, Sodomites. Okay, uh, pe people are are, norm uh, are normalized. Wickedness is normalized here. I mean, you they, nobody gonna bat, nobody gonna say anything about it because that's not the culture of uh, San Francisco. The culture of San Francisco is that anything goes and that you're you're not supposed to. Um, Look down upon anybody. You both have the spirit of acceptance. So, this place has this, the spirit of uh, 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 accepting any, any, and everything. Okay. And just as uh, Sodom, Sodom and Gomorrah had that spirit, you know those those surrounding cities. The Most High He dropped uh, a brimstone from heaven, and you, none of you people have ever seen missiles fired off. Okay, here in America, maybe you know you uh, if you were in the military, all right, you seen missiles in the sky. And, and and effects that missiles can have on you, but none of you people have have uh, experienced or lived through thermonuclear uh, missiles, okay? ICBMs. Because once some things in the sky, it, 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 there's no hope. There's there's no hope. Planetary destruction, okay? It says his roots shall be dried up beneath, 
and above his branch shall be cut off. Meaning, when you when you uproot a tree and you you cut off the branches, that tree can't can't survive any longer. It's it's done. It says his remembrance shall perish from the earth, and he shall have no more name in the street. You you're not going to hear about Edomites. You're not going to hear about oh this great political scientist or this great oh the president, the 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 the, uh, the the fiftieth president of the United States or this great Edomite scholar. You're not going to hear about no Edomites no more, man. That's going to be, that's, that, that shit going to fly away in the night. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. It says he shall be driven from light into darkness and chased out of the world. Okay. This, you, you, Esau, you're going to get chased out, man. Just as you are getting uh, chased out of uh, the world of, uh, the world of Africa. Okay, would you try to make yourself? You watch the documentaries and Esau's Esau's all talking. You try to make yourself all um, like you're the victim. You piece of the shit, man. You fucking piece of the shit. You try to make yourself like you're the victim when your ancestors are the, the same ones that went over there and you and you killed for that land. And your and your own and your only excuses. Oh well, you had you had infighting. People were fighting against each other. You you damn devil. You damn devil. Okay, that's the same. That's the same uh, uh, bullshit you try to say when you try to justify yourself to coming over here and, and, and committing acts of genocide on the North American Indians. All right, you're gonna you're gonna have to pay for everything. You have to pay for every ounce of blood that's been dropped here uh, in America and throughout the four corners of the world that you and your people have uh, uh, have uh, have done. Okay, so you're gonna get chased out of the world. Right, and, and the Lord, how is the Lord going to do that? He's going to do it by the hand of his people. We are, we are going to be able to get our revenge on you. Okay. We're going to, we're going to bash your baby's heads against a stone according to the scriptures. Okay. When, when the heavenly father gives us that power or as, as for right now, what we're going to do is we're going to battle against you with these words, the words of the heavenly father. And this is what's really getting to you. All right. Cause if we had guns, you'll be able to overtake us. That was your blessing. The Lord did not give Israel the blessing of the sword, okay? He did not give uh, Israel the blessing of uh, weapon technology, okay? Well, in fact, the Lord, he's going to give us, he's going to He's gonna make us into a weapon. All right, let me get that. Let me finish this and then I'll get that. He shall neither have son nor nephew among his people, nor any remaining in his dwelling, because the son and a nephew is the one, is the one who carries on that line. So if, the, if they're done, the whole nation is done. They that come after him shall be as a, a, a stone eat at his day. And they that went before were frightened. So you're going to be astonished. You're going to be an awestruck. Okay, you're going to be a, a thunderstruck, bewildered. Okay, because you are afraid at this man. Oh, is, is this the man that make king that, that did make kingdom shake? All right, that that dropped bombs on people and did this and did that. He had he had all this great power. Surely are the dwellings of the wicked and his and this is a place of him that knoweth not the most high okay so this is a, a man that knoweth not the most high all right let me bring on this scripture and then we're gonna, i'm gonna wrap it up gotta gotta get out of here this is jeremiah 51 and 20 thou art my battle axe and weapon weapons of war for with thee will i break in pieces the nations and with thee will I destroy kingdoms. And with thee will I break in pieces the horse and the, his rider. And with thee will I break in pieces the chariot and his rider. Okay? So the Lord, he going to create us to be the uh, his battle axe and weapons of war. Okay? He going to create us to uh, uh, destroy you Edomites. That he going he gonna to turn our body into a spiritual into a spiritual weapon. All right? We going we gonna to go through the camp of the Edomites and we going we gonna to slaughter you, man. We going to put you to work. All right, we're going to put you to work for a thousand years. All right, so you can build up the kingdom of heaven. We're going to put holy hell on you. We're going to experiment on you. We're going to be chopping your heads off. We're going to be uh, dealing with your woman. This is our woman. You're going to be property of Yasha Allah, okay? And then when we're, we're done using your ass up, just as you try to use us, now you want to do away with us after you use us up, we're going to exterminate you, okay? You pieces of shit. So without, I want to say Shalom.